for choosing Ironside Computers. Today we're going to be doing a video demonstration of a very special computer. This customer ordered very high-end parts, so we're going to be going through the inside and the exterior, showing you all the parts that you ordered and showing you that everything is fully operational. We're going to begin by turning on the computer. Now the computer's booted up, let's take a look inside your computer. Taking a look inside the computer, first thing you'll notice is your level 3 iron tundra liquid cooling system with UV red tubing. One system is cooling the processor while the other system is cooling the graphics card. Now the processor you chose is the Intel Core i7-4820K. To the right, you chose Blue Kingston HyperX memory cooler cooling 16GB of Corsair Dominator 2133MHz RAM. Below that, you'll see your triple SLI 780s, all liquid cooled. And you also have the red wired sleeving that goes on the 24 pin, the 6 and 8 pins for the graphics cards, and the 8 pin CPU power on the top left. For lighting, you've chosen dual blue cathodes, as well as the NZXT Hue system, which can be changed to any color you like. And this is all on an ASUS X79 Deluxe motherboard. For your system, you've chosen a Corsair AX1200i power supply. And for storage, you've chosen a Corsair 480GB SSD. Taking a look at the front of the computer, starting from the top, you have your power button. Below that, you have the buttons for your fan controller. You have minus to decrease speed, plus to increase speed, and the button in the middle is to turn the fan LEDs on or off. Since we switched the fans to a red LED fan, these do not work. To the right of that, you have the reset button. Below that, you have four USB ports, two are 3.0 and two are 2.0. And lastly, you have your mic and headphone jack. Below that, you have your 2.5 inch hot swap bay, your Blu ray rider, two reservoirs for your two independent liquid cooling systems, and the controller for your NZXT Hue. To change this, you simply turn the knob um, to the color that you want. You have three knobs here you have red, green, and blue. So if you want more blue, you turn it to the right. If you want more green, you turn that to the right. If you want more red, you turn that to the right and to the left for less red, blue, or green. Take a look at the back of the computer starting from the top. You have four USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port, a USB BIOS flashback button, two eSATA ports, two USB 3.0 ports, two more USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port. These are where you want to plug in your antennas. They'll be included in your black box with your computer. You simply just screw on the antennas when you get the computer, and this will be for Wi-Fi. Below that, your various audio ports. On the bottom, you have your video ports for your graphics cards. You will have six DVI ports, three HDMI, and three display ports. Now when plugging in your monitor, you're gonna to wanna to use the top port. Take a look at the desktop. We're gonna be showing you the various components of the computer you couldn't see. First, going into system properties, you'll see your Intel Core i7-4820K. 16 gigabytes of memory, going into the device manager, our disk drives, you'll see your Corsair SSD, under display adapters you'll see the three GTX 780s in SLI. Now we're going to begin the stress test. This test is called Unigine Valley. It's designed to heavily stress the processor as well as the graphics card. We typically let this test run for up to eight hours, but for this video we're going to be letting it run for about two to three minutes.
As you can see, your computer is fully operational and all the components in your computer are working properly. Now we're going to be shutting down the system. And that will conclude this video. Again, if you have any questions, please contact us at customer service at ironsidecomputers.com.